to take apart is digital clocks. This one's got an alarm function and a nightlight function, and I'm going to show you how it works. First thing I got to do is remove this cover. So to do that, screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, my liquid crystal display screen is, was hot glued into place, so I just popped the hot glue and it slides right out. This is the button switch. There we go. Push back and pull out. Easy enough. This alarm uh, supports the smack the top feature, which just uses four of the two of the feet. These are both buttons, and so I got to take out the microchip controller for that, which is right down in here. And so uh, that's four more screws. Uh, the speaker. There we go. That's the speaker. This one runs on a 120 volt wall outlet. It uses a transformer, AC current into DC current. Um, now I gotta pull the cable, and I'll have to just remove it with a screw. Just uh, one screw's holding it in. Now I'm being held in by um, a battery backup, uh, AAA, um, by either uh, cutting them or pulling them till they bust. There we go. A perfectly good um, 120 volt outlet cable. Keep that around for later. Um, next is the button control. You gotta remove these four screws on the back. Uh, this is the LCD front. Just pull up on the zipper strip. If you didn't know, a liquid crystal display is actually transparent. The snooze button circuit the uh, data input button circuit, the microprocessor circuit, and the liquid crystal display. And your power transformer is on a different circuit. The micro switch, it slides left to right and connects uh, two of these three points. One, two, three. These are snap buttons. The whole unit uses snap buttons, not contact buttons. Second control switch, the snooze button feature, uh, where you just smack the top and it pushes in the two feet. This is the speaker, but I already did a video on how speakers work. Uh, just uh, click this little window over here in the in the top corner of your screen and uh, see how speakers work. If you wanna if you wanna see how speakers work. Now zebra stripping is simple stuff. It's not very complicated at all. It just runs power from one side to the other. Uh, little pieces of metal in here, and when you run current through it, it sits in a designated location. Numeric controller or the uh, microchip controller. This little black dot is the microprocessor. Battery circuit came through here, as well as the uh, transformer circuit, uh, and that is how. The clock works. I was recording that the whole time. <sighs> this one's a bit more complicated than my last few.